Approaches the intersection, an 18 wheeler decides to try to make it across. It looks as if the truck is in the clear. strong that cars are literally stacked on top of one another. In all, eight cars are damaged, but thankfully no one is seriously hurt. At the railroad crossing, bells ring, warning of an oncoming locomotive. The crossing gates descend, but the confused truck driver suddenly begins rolling forward. The semi stops before crossing the intersection. The driver seems unaware that the truck rests directly on top of the railroad tracks. The train engineer desperately blasts the air horn, hoping the driver will respond. trailer is completely destroyed and the wreckage is strewn for hundreds of yards just moments after the horrific impact the lucky driver and her dog emerge unscathed
she's getting... Oh, my God. So close. steel flasks. It was described as the most horrendous and pessimistic crash that could be arranged. The train ran into the lid of the flask at nearly 100 miles an hour. As predicted, the lid stayed on. On the lid. Greenpeace claimed the CEGB unbolted the heavy engine inside the locomotive so that during the crash it would sail over the flask instead of pushing into it. The CEGB say rubbish. The engine was not tampered with in any way. Greenpeace claim the carriages had weights in them to keep them on the ground and prevent them rising up and falling onto the flask because this could have damaged it. Again, rubbish, say the CEG. The CEGB are confident that the Greenpeace allegations won't be taken seriously. They say they have nothing to hide.